In this video, we're gonna install Tails on a USB drive using the Windows operating system. So if your home laptop or desktop is running Windows, then this would be the video for you to learn how to install Tails onto a USB. We will not be running a virtual machine in this video or doing a DVD. This is specifically to set up a USB. So let's hop over to our Windows desktop and get started. So here on the Windows desktop, this is a basic Windows 11 install. So I'll be using pretty much a fresh version of Windows 11. We wanna open up any browser and we'll just go ahead and go to the Tails OS website, which you can just find with searching Tails OS. And you can find the first one here, which is tails.net. From this web page, we simply wanna download the image file that we're gonna to need to use with our USB. So we'll click install Tails. And then we'll just download Tails only. And then we'll click on this download. That should start downloading right away as we can see in the top right here. So we'll let that go ahead and download and we'll unpause this video when that is finished. And now that that download is complete, there is one additional step here that's always recommended to do. If you select your download to verify, it'll ask you to click on the file that you downloaded. We'll go ahead and do that here. And then it will actually verify that our download was correct. So this helps ensure that the download wasn't corrupted in any way, and that also there wasn't any potential man in the middle attacks inserting software that isn't directly part of the base tales that you got from the website. So definitely an important step to ensure you're getting the best quality file. So you can click on that and it shouldn't take too long now just to validate that everything looks good. And assuming the file is correct, once it finishes, it will say verification successful here. So that means we're good to go. Now there is some additional guides on this page you can follow, but we're gonna skip all of these for now. And we're gonna look for an additional tool to actually install the image file we just downloaded. So we'll head over to Google and we will download what's called Rufus. And Rufus is a software really lightweight to create bootable USB drives. So we'll go to their webpage here and we'll look for the downloads here. Uh, if you don't have an ad blocker or you're not blocking ads, you'll see a bunch of ads on the side that say download. Make sure to ignore those and just click this one here. And depending on your operating system, make sure you select the right one. But we'll click the Windows EXE version and we'll go ahead and launch that. We'll allow it to check for updates just in case there ever is one. And there, it is ready to go. So now what we will do is we will plug in our USB device. And when we do, it should detect it. Now I've already used this USB to install Tails. That's why it's named Tails, but you, yours might be named something different. So double check and make sure you're using the right one. A good way is double checking that file size. So this is a 65 gigabit USB. Uh, so depending on what size you plug in, you'll know the file size there or the size of the device that is. And then now we wanna actually select our image. So we'll keep it on disk or ISO image. And then we will just take this drop down right here, click on it. And we will click the disk image file that we downloaded in the previous steps. And that's really it. You don't need to mess with any of these other settings unless you know what you're doing here. Be careful with those. We'll just click start. It'll warn us that it's gonna erase everything on the USB drive. So be sure you're okay with that. Click okay. And it will start the image process, allowing you to have that bootable USB with tails on it. So we'll let it do its thing. And when it's done, we'll come back to this again. Okay, and once it is completed, it'll just show ready here at the bottom. No fancy pop-ups or anything like that. It's just ready to go. So now you can take this USB and you can boot from it on a computer. We'll show you those steps in future videos. But for now, you've created the USB. Uh, if you want to learn how to create USB on different OSs, there's videos on that after this one. And there's also a video on DVDs and then how to actually start up Tails. If you have any questions, of course, let me know. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next one.